Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Melvin Tay Wan Tuma coming at you this week with your American Idol Top 9 Results Show. Okay, before I get to the results, let's go with, you know on Results Night they always have people come back or special performances. So let's go to the, let me talk about the special performances tonight. Casey Abrams came back. Now I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a super Casey Abrams fan. But he came back, he sung, sung a song, I don't really remember the, the name of the song. It was some Beatles song. But it had a, the way he performed it and, and, and the instrumentation and everything behind it, he really, I really liked it. He really made me a believer. I, I'm, I'm going to have to go check out some of Casey Abrams' music. It, re, it really was just, he, he really kept my attention um, throughout the whole song. So big ups to you, Casey Abrams. Keep doing your thing. Jessica Sanchez returned um, tonight with um, her new single. I think it's Tonight Tonight featuring Neo. Um, I got I to gotta listen to the song again. I wasn't, like, I'm a big Jessica fan. I wasn't jumping out of my seats at the song. I was like, oh my God, this song is it. I was jumping out of the seats, but at the same time, I wasn't bored. I, I think I may have to listen to the song a couple more times to get into it. What I will say about the song is, I do think the song is going to be big at pop radio. Because the hook, it just has that hook that, you know, just, you can hear in the club. And it, it just would kill pop radio. I'm also hoping that her album is a little bit more R&B. I'm hoping it's just not pop based. I'm hoping it's, um, it has a couple more R&B songs where we really get to hear a voice that she's known for on American Idol. But, you know, we may have to hear more. But, hey, she's got Neil on the track. It, it, it's going to be a hit. Whether it's a number one hit, we we got to wait till the song comes out and see. But only time will tell. So let's get to the results. Okay, the results. The bottom three this week, Paul Jolly, he should have been there. Devin, as much as I love him, he should have been there. Amber Holcomb. Okay. Why is Lazarus not in the bottom three? Why is Amber in the bottom three? This I don't understand. Now, Jimmy Iovine stated that Amber should have been his top three. Now, personally, I respect Jimmy Iovine. I love Jimmy Iovine. I don't think Amber should have been top three. I don't think she should have been bottom three. She should have been, you know, four or five, you know, somewhere around that range. But... I'm just so shocked that she was in the bottom three and Lazarus was not. The thing about it is, people, I respect Lazarus. I respect everything he's gone through. I, I think he has so much courage. I think he has one of the biggest hearts. But this is the real world. And I think everybody's just voting based on his story. And we have to realize that American Idol is a singing competition. That's the reason why so many people have been saying, oh, it's going to end, oh, it's going to do this. Because of the fact we got off of those singers. We got off of the singers of the Carrie Underwood, the Kelly Clarkson, the Fantasia, the, the Jennifer Hudson. It's, it's a vocal competition. Lazarus, I have nothing against you. Dude, I have mad love and respect for you. But at the end of the day, if we were going based on performances, you should have went home last night. I'm sorry, you just should have went home. Paul Jolly eventually um, went home. He was eliminated. He, he went to go sing, sing his um, save song. The judges, the judges just looked like they weren't gonna save him anyway. So it, it, I don't think I, don't, I, I, I think he kind of knew that because when he sung his song for the save, he didn't even really give it as much firepower as he did the first time when he sung it. So I think he kind of knew he, it was he was going home. Um, but America, we got we got to get back to these vocals. Um, because cause we do have some true singers in there. We got the Candace is unbelievable. Brunel is crazy. Um, Cree is um, an unbelievable talent. I will say Jimmy Iovine did say one thing that I have to agree with him about. Angie Miller is good. And I didn't notice this until he said this. But he, he, he really has a point. At times, she can be a little bit overdramatic. But at the same time, you know me. I love drama. So it is what it is. So, next week, um, we'll see what happens. And, you know, I, I still don't think Paul Jolly should have went home this week. He should have went home next week. But, hey, it is what it is. And that's your American Idol Top 9 results. Hey, and always remember, if you want your favorite to win, you have to vote. You can't sit up there and just say, oh, my God, this person went home. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Maybe it happened because you didn't vote. You want your favorite to win? Vote. Your Cree fan? Vote. Your Candy fan? Vote. Your Burnell fan, vote. Your Angie fan, vote. Your Emma fan, which I don't know if enough voted because I don't know why she was in the bottom three. But if you're a fan, you got to vote. Vote, all right? I'll see you guys next week with my American Idol results of the top eight. Love you guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Melvin Taiwan. 
Um, add me on Facebook at Melvin Tay One Tumor and follow me on Instagram at Melvin Tay One. I love you guys. Um, I just love you guys. Thank you for your support. I'm out.